What is going on, beautiful people, and welcome back to another episode. It is a uh, overcast day, and it is not, it's not the best. It's like, I don't know, almost 40 some odd degrees. And uh, after the last couple days of being like in the 70s, uh, it is super cold. Actually, it's kind of nice in the garage, to be honest with you. I'm gonna turn on the heat. At least, uh, at least for the next like maybe hour or so that I'm gonna be out here. So uh, today, as you saw from the last video, I did get the uh, clutch done for the five. And uh, today is gonna be a little bit different of a day. Uh, I'm super excited because I want to get some stuff. Uh, I want to get some stuff off the car. What is this? What is this? I want to get some stuff off the car. Uh, and start with the process of thinking about a color so it is friday today and uh normally i don't do things on friday because i have to technically i have to work uh the next couple days so it is going to be a little bit difficult but today is a little different because i am motivated to get this car working on and uh and going so today is going to be a special day so first things first, I gotta move the STI out and uh, I'm gonna let this bad boy down. And uh, yeah, we're just, gonna, we're just gonna go from there. So give me one second and I'll be right back. You know what? This is what happens when you're trying to clean your floor. You always get spots. Uh, I, think, I think come the summertime, I wanna try to, uh, I wanna try to epoxy this, at least this side of the floor uh, and just do this whole bay here. I wanna do this whole bay. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to actually do it, but I'm going to see what I can kind of do as far as getting it done. Uh, just because stuff like this is uh, a little upsetting because yesterday I had to really uh, whip out the purple power. And uh, I, I did my did this whole side of the, the garage over here just because it was it, it was a terrible, terrible mess. Uh, so. If you guys don't already know, my uh, normal strategy is usually to uh, do these Brembos. And th with this car, it is definitely uh, definitely gonna be the same. So uh, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you guys how to take these bad boys off and uh, get these things ready for uh, for powder. Because uh, it does, it's not, it's not that it's, it's not that it's hard. It's that it's very annoying. So you have to pinch off the brake lines. Uh, you have to make sure that the uh, the O-rings, or not O-rings, all right, as I was saying, uh, you have to make sure that the uh, the copper washers are good and uh, you could actually reuse those. So I'm very old school. I, I know I don't look that old, but I am uh, I'm 40 years old. And the way I've been doing it has been successful the whole time I've been working on cars. So you never use new crush washers for anything uh, except for coolant lines. So coolant lines are a little different on turbos and uh, oil oil return lines. But when it comes to brake, brake stuff, you never use new stuff. That's just me. Uh, I'm telling you what's worked for me. I'm not telling you as an absolute. I'm just telling you uh, what I do. So. What uh, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the camera up real quick. Like I said before, this should be a pretty straightforward video about the things that I'm gonna be powder coating, but uh, I won't be doing them on this uh, on this video here. I'm just gonna show you guys how to prep for, uh, for somebody or yourself to get your powder coat done. You know what I mean? So whenever your car's sitting for a while, these are the steps that you're gonna need to take to actually get your car uh, you know the parts that you want to get powder coated you know to take that stuff so uh let me set the camera up and then we can get to this one two three all right ladies and gentlemen folks so uh we'll show you what i do have here so there are, let me grab my, let me grab my cart here, because it'll be easier to show you. Let me tell you something, if you don't have some type of cart, 
Oh God, it, it's so much easier. So there's two ways that you can do this. You can get these or you can get these. So I have both. Uh, these are uh, clamps or, you know, like little hose clamps. Uh, these are for coolant, but you can also use them for brake lines as well. I have, I think three different sizes. Yes, three different sizes, three different sizes there. Or you can use these type, which are designated hose clamps. And I do have four of those. So uh, these are Harbor Freight jammies. They do work. So today I'm gonna be using these since I have all four and I'll just put these back. Now, whenever you're doing this, you wanna make sure that uh, you want to make sure that you're pinching uh, as close. To, let me get my flashlight. Uh, you want to make sure that you pinch as close to the brake line or the brake caliper as you can. So let me get this here. So all right, looking at this, the back of this line here, the uh, you're looking at the uh, brake line coming out of the car, and it's connected right here the soft line is what you want to clamp off well you can clamp off anything up here as well you're just going to have to make sure that you pull the spring back but uh as close to the as close to the you know edge as you possibly can to end the end of the line so anywhere around there front and the back is the same way i think you have the spring yes the spring is there as you can tell there so you're gonna have to pull the spring back and uh and remove uh and clamp it off there. So, a couple things that you're gonna have to do, but super simple. Now, the reason for that is just so that you don't have to super bleed your whole entire system. So, this car has ABS, most cars, most modern cars all have ABS. So, uh, to eliminate you actually having to whip the computer out and do an ABS like bleed, this will eliminate that just because all you'll need is uh all you'll have is air in very little bit of the uh of the caliper itself and inside the uh inside the caliper so uh those are the only things you, you'll need to bleed uh nipple here nipple here on the inside outside on uh, all four calipers starting from the farthest away and then moving to the closest so uh it, it's very simple and uh, on these calipers here, I think there's two 19 millimeter bolts out back and then everything should come off with no problem. So one of the things that you're gonna need is you're gonna wanna grab your garbage can, put it up underneath here and squeeze every all, all the brake fluid that you have inside the caliper. You wanna squeeze those out. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So give me one second, I will be right back. General folks so as you can tell i do have the line pinched off nothing is coming out which is exactly what you want and uh i did take the caliper off and as you can tell i don't know if you did see i know it was kind of fast but uh you squeeze the inside of here and here you know the brake pads into the garbage can and then you get all of the uh all the brake fluid that you can out of these bad boys so it's really not anything super crazy so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the rest of these bad boys off off camera because really no point in showing you but uh the reason why i'm doing it is just because you can kind of see it says brembo here yeah these are uh these are really really old so <laughs> somebody's painted these over many a time uh you can tell it, it doesn't look like original and they even went over the brembo itself so uh yeah so it, it's we're definitely going to need to do something uh, but yeah, let me get the, uh, let me get the rest of these bad boys off and, uh, put to the side and, uh, yeah, we can continue to go from there. So let's go. All right, people. All right. So just to show you guys a little bit better, this is how it's supposed to look with no drippies at all. And in the rear, it's, it's going to be, 
yeah you can you can see it pretty simple so that's how it's supposed to be the spring behind here you know just pull that back and uh just clamp it so like i said no drippy drippy at all and uh we're we are solid we are solid so there's only uh one other thing that i really want to do and obviously you guys probably already know what that is just like every other thing that i do it's usually uh brake calipers uh intercooler pipes are usually my thing as well unfortunately the five does not have any upgraded intercooler pipes uh so can't really do that but the one thing that i can do is oh, let me open up the door because i gotta pop the hood all right you already know i already told you guys that i wanted to change this i would love to do the intake manifold but uh i'm really not that's not my main it's not my main priority whatsoever so i think that i'm gonna actually have everything kind of matching uh i'd like to get an intercooler pipe like a upper intercooler pipe and an intake for this uh without moving any of the battery stuff i just want to keep it the way it is so i probably want to have somebody actually make something or at least do something like that at least if i make an upper inner cooler pipe i can uh i can do that in like maybe some type of gloss black or something like that or 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 i can have somebody make me one in titanium so that is uh something i've been like kind of tossing around I found a couple places that actually make them in titanium, but they don't have two things. So I guess a lot of people delete this uh, EGR valve. I don't want to do any of that. Uh, so what they do is they normally delete the EGR valve and the, uh, the blow off valve tube is usually like, I don't know, for Evo 8s, they're usually like some, somewhere around underneath here, underneath the intake. And uh, so that's pretty much where most of my intercooler piping that I, I'm seeing online actually looks like and I don't really want to do or touch any of that so I want to try to have the same exact design uh, up until like this lower intercool pipe well the upper intercool pipe ends right underneath the battery there so if I can get somebody to make myself a titanium pipe from here to there with the blow off valve uh, side the pipe here and this piece here I will be very very happy so like that's what i'm probably gonna do and try to see if i can't find somebody to make me a uh an intake for this as well so uh yeah it's just i don't know it's very sad that uh they don't really make anything like that just because of the design but it is what it is you know what i mean so uh but yeah let me get to uh getting this thing off real quick folk so as you already know this is what we got to powder coat so four calipers and a valve cover so that is everything that i think that i'm going to do with this car change a couple small things you know but for the most part this is pretty much it uh so what do you guys think as far as color so I'm literally uh, on the fence on two different colors, but I definitely want to hear you guys' suggestions. Uh, it is a white car. As you can tell, uh, Evo 5, I'm going to be putting, uh, like, these, these wheels, I like these wheels a lot. So I might just throw some tires on them or something like that, and then that's really going to be it. So silver wheels, and uh, really, that's it. Like, it's already lowered. I think... Uh, it's got orange headlights 
uh, or uh, side marker. So, I mean, I, I, I really don't know. But like I said before, I have an inkling. But I want to know what you guys... Uh, what you guys think in the comment section below so let me know what you think i don't think i'm gonna start this till next week like i said before it is friday as i'm filming this but uh sometime next week i definitely feel like i'm gonna get to this but as of right now i'm gonna go inside i'm gonna take all of this stuff all of all of this stuff <laughs> all this stuff inside with me and uh i'm gonna start to break it down probably over the weekend and uh, start probably shooting everything on Tuesday or Wednesday. Try to get back out here for next Thursday or so. So that is the case. So hopefully you guys are uh, you guys are going to be seeing this by then, and uh, we'll just go from there. But I don't know if you like this, enjoy this video or uh, like the content. Please let me know in the description below. Maybe hit me with a like if you did like it. Uh, if you don't, please let me know as well. I will uh, it will not try not to let it hurt my feelings that much. But this is the content that I create. So if you like what you see and want to see more on the Evos and the GTR and the STI content that I have, uh, please think about subscribing. And uh, yeah, if you like the content, yeah, I'll see you uh, on the next one. I appreciate you stopping by, checking out the video. I'll see you soon. Deuces. Uh.